Hey guys, this is Jeff O'Connor and I want to welcome you back to my shop here in Virginia Beach, Virginia. I got my Dexter gloves on today for a lot less felonious activity. Today, we're going to talk about finishing. And today I'm going to work on one of my favorite finishes. It's kind of a rustic pine look. And I've got a pine board here and I'm going to demonstrate it for you. So stick around. Okay, so here we have a piece of pine board here. I have sanded this down to 150. You can do 120, 150 with this type of finish. I like to go 150, keep that grain open a little bit. Uh, I like to use these two stains. This is from General Finish. This is a water-based stain and their dye stain as well. So first thing we're gonna do is give the dye stain a little stir here. And this is just their standard black. And we're gonna apply liberally to the board here. Now when I apply the stain, I don't really worry too much about the direction I'm applying it until the end. Right now I'm trying to get it soaking into the grain real well. Okay, now I'll finish just with a couple even strokes across. Make sure we get everything's covered. Okay, now we're going to take a clean cloth. We're going to wipe this stain up. All right, good to go there, and we're ready for the next step. All right, our next step now is to take a sander with 100 grit sandpaper on it and we're gonna rough up this surface and pull off some of that stain and kind of leave a little bit of blotchiness on there so we can fill it with our dye stain. Okay, now what's cool about this is you can actually take as little or as much off as you want and kind of get creative with it because we're looking for kind of a worn look for this finish. So now we've got our, our black stain worn off here. Next step is going to be to stir up this dye stain. This is their uh, light brown from General Finishes. You can use really either color. You can use carbon, you can use dark brown, you can mix it up to get different finishes, but this works really well in the pine. And now I'm just going to apply liberally onto this board, the dye stain. And this is going to soak in real nice. The longer you leave this on, the deeper the color is going to be. But I usually wipe it on and wipe it right off because the pine soaks it in so well. So again, I'm all over the place applying this, and now I'm just going to do even strokes across. All right. That's pretty much it. we got a clean rag here. We're just going to go across this finish. And there you have it. Your rustic antique pine. Look how cool that is. Very fast finish, really cool on pine. Works on other woods like ash as well, but I love this, it's super fast to do. So if you like this video, if you like my other videos, please click subscribe. And I will see you next time in the shop. I'm gonna get rolling now because this wood ain't gonna work itself.